still on a high after qualifying for the Coupe de France final. Matters were more complicated for Rennes in the championship. No wins for Julien Stéphane's men in over a month. Seven points taken in the last three matches meant that Patrick Vieira's niece, however, was still in with a shot for qualifying for Europe. But it also meant that the Iglant needed to avoid dropping any more points. Nice, the fifth best team on the road in France, having won five of their 16 away matches. It was a former Nice man, Hatem Benafa, who produced the first bit of magic of the afternoon. His free kick crashing against a post, but so close from going into the back of the net. Hatem Benafa who showed brilliant skill to send Niang on his way. The Ren striker forcing Benitez into a reflex save after a deflection of Dante. Nice's first marauding move came from a free kick as well, but straight at Kubek, who had no trouble in dealing with it. No goals at half-time, but Ren by far the more threatening team in attack. With the home crowd providing support behind them, the home side started wave after wave of attack after the break. Saar forcing Benitez into an excellent low save. But time and time again, the home side were unable to get past a resilient Nice defence. And when they did, it was the woodwork which denied them. Unu crashing against the crossbar. His header powerful, but not accurate enough. Again, the home side threatened. And once more, it was the woodwork which denied them. Unu from close range, unable to put the ball in the back of the net, but this time a big mistake by the Rennes striker. Nice had one final opportunity at the end of the match. Gonna go, forcing Kubek into a smart save at his front post, but one which you would expect the goalkeeper to make. He got his angles right. Another blank by Nice, who had the joint worst attack of the league uh, Conferama with just 23 goals. Rennes' winless run extends a little longer and they are now in 10th 